Okay, welcome to this video. I just wanted to say hi. I'm going to turn off my camera. So you don't have to stare at me for the rest of this video. And uh, I'm very excited about this video. In this video, we're going to cover short form video creation, specifically how to create and post hundreds of short form videos in an hour. It's pretty amazing what I'm going to show you here. We're going to need some tools to do it. So I'm going to list the tools and then we're, we're just going to show you how to do it step by step process. And of course, the reason we're doing this is so that we can drive traffic to our Facebook group or to our landing page, whichever you decide to do. And finally, once I show you how to create the videos, I'm going to show you how to post them so that they go on automate. So what I imagine is you working for an hour or two and creating a bunch of videos, posting and scheduling them out for the next month, all in an hour, maybe two hours. Once they're posted, then they will drive traffic to your website or your Facebook group and you don't have to do anything for the next month or however long you want to do it. So to do this, we're going to need a few things to get started. We're going to need to open a Google Sheet or an Excel sheet. We're going to need to get a Canva account if you don't have one. I'm going to show you a free video editing software called CapCut and this will be an optional uh, video software. We're definitely going to need to use ChatGPT to create some of the content. And then finally, you're going to need a social media tool like Metricool to uh, schedule and post a lot of this. I also want to introduce you to two other apps which might help you. I'm not going to use them in this process necessarily, but I want you to actually know about them. One is a downloadable software called ReCut. I will show you exactly um, what it is and what it does. I'll tell you what it does right now. It actually removes silences from videos automatically. It's one of my favorite pieces of software that I use, and it's been very helpful. And there's another app that I use, and the app is called Captions, and it's an app for my iPhone, and it basically allows you to add captions automatically to videos, kind of in the Alex Harmozy style. And it's also really helpful because once you make the video, it actually creates a transcript written for your video, and that comes in really handy as well. So we'll say creates captions and transcripts for short form, short form video. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by grabbing a Google Sheet. Once you have opened a Google Sheet, you wanna go ahead and name it. I'm gonna do short form video to short form video. I'm actually gonna make a funnel for this because I want to create this video as a lead magnet for another product. So um, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. In row, at the very top row, we're gonna do sentence one and then sentence two, sentence three, and we'll do sentence four. And we'll make these a little bit bigger so we can see. I'm also going to want to highlight this just so it's easier for me to read. Perfect. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to use ChatGBT to create some content uh, for our short form videos. And for the example right now, we're just going to do 10. I'm just going to create 10 short form videos and then you can create as many as you want. You can create hundreds at the same time. But what we're going to do is we're going to figure out, we're going to ask ChatGPT Chat GPT to create sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, sentence four. For 10 videos, all the videos are going to be of the same topic. So now let's go over to ChatGPT and start creating some content. Now, if you don't have the premium subscription for ChatGPT, I definitely uh, I encourage you to get it. You have access to GPT-4, which is the latest technology. It's also only $20 a month. It's a lot better than GPT-3.5, in my opinion. Also, 3.5 gets kind of busy sometimes, and so they only allow a certain number of users. I'm going to presume you might have some experience with ChatGPT. It's not um, rocket science to use. But what we're going to do is we're going to tell ChatGPT, we're going to give some, some context to ChatGPT. If you give ChatGPT context, it always produces better results. Then what we're going to do is take all that content and post it into our spreadsheet. And then what we're going to do is link the content in the spreadsheet to Canva and Canva is going to automatically produce a ton of videos for us really quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and start and give some context to ChatGPT. Okay, so I just wrote out exactly what I want from ChatGPT and you can literally use this exact same thing. So let's read it real quick before I hit enter. It says, hi ChatGPT, I am creating short form videos in mass, filling out a Google Sheet with scripts, 
one sentence at a time. I'm going to ask you to produce some content for me. Each short form video will have four sentences. Let me give you an example script. I just made 50 short form videos for my business and the crazy thing is it took less than an hour to do. It's super easy to do and I made a free training that you can get. Just go to the link in the comments to get started. Instead of giving me 10 scripts at a time, I want to make them one sentence at a time. Please give me the first sentence of 10 scripts without numbers and without quotes so that I can copy them into my spreadsheet. Does this make sense? So I just want to show you how this is going to be done. So hit send message and chat GPT will go ahead and start. Okay, now it already um, messed up. All right, what I want to do is I don't want these numbers here because it's going to be tough to copy and paste. So I'm going to say, sorry, do it again. But this time, don't include the list numbers. Just give me the sentences with a break in, just give me the sentences, one sentence per line. Good. So sometimes again, it, it has to just, you just gotta give it the context of exactly what you want. Okay, so here are the sentences. I'm not too happy with some of these and that's not ChatGPT's fault again, it's just a computer, so we have to give it some more. Personally, I like, um, I discovered, I like the one-on-one -on -one or the like the first person. So what I'm gonna say is, let's try again. But this time, keep the keep the perspective from the first person. No jargon. Be straightforward. And I want it to be like, look what I just did. That's the vibe I want. Also, one sentence per line. But please don't have a break in between lines. Good, because that'll be easier to copy paste. So let's try it one more time. Okay, now it needs a little bit more um, direction because the topic, okay, the, let's do it again. The topic is the fact that I just created 50 videos in less than an hour. So let's keep that. Okay, now it's producing much better results. These are the results I wanted for sure. Perfect. These are definitely going to work. So let's go ahead and grab these and we're going to copy that and we're going to put these all now in here and I'm going to right click paste special and I just want to paste the values only. Now again, it, it ChatGPT didn't do a very good job of uh, not putting the space in here. So I want to go in here and delete the um, row. Perfect. And let's go ahead and grab this and let's have the word wrap around so that I'm not looking at it like that. All right, great. So now I have the first sentence for each one of these videos. Now what we're going to do is grab sentence two. Perfect. So we'll go back here and say, great, let's do sentence two. And ChatGPT is going to go. Now as it's creating it, you can see how powerful it is for making video scripts. Even if you don't want to use them for this context, you can see ChatGPT is amazing in helping you create content and different ways to say content. So grab that and I'm going to go right here, paste special values only. Perfect. And let's go back and do sentence three and we'll grab sentence three, copy, and we'll do paste special values. And then we'll go back and do sentence four and we'll grab the content here, hit copy and head here. Paste the values, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Just hit delete. I'll do it for each one. All right, so what you end up now with is four sentences for these videos, and I now have 11 or 10 scripts for them. Okay, or 10 scripts for them. So, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and fit file and download as a CSV file. All right, now we are going to head on over to Canva and we're going to create a design. If you don't have Canva, you'll need an account to do this. I don't remember if you need a premium account or not. I have a premium account. What you wanna choose is Instagram Reel as you choose a design. And this is gonna be really valuable for you to know just going forward because you can use it in the way I'm gonna show you or in any other way to create tons of videos very, very quickly. Uh, just a preview of what we're gonna do, we're actually going to create a template and then upload the spreadsheet to the template and it's gonna pre-populate many videos for us all at once. 
So let's show you exactly how to do that. So what we're going to first do is want to create a background. So I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to search here and I'm going to, um, I want to find a person for these videos. This is what I want to do. You can do literally anything you want. I'm going to search for something called a person looking up and I'm going to go in the settings here and choose a vertical because I just want a vertical background video and I'm going to go down to the videos here and I am going to search for something like this guy. Perfect. So I'm going to get this guy in here. There we go. Excellent. Now the purple background is fine, but if I wanted to remove it for a reason, actually I might bring him down here and I do want to remove that background. So I'm going to hit, hit the video, hit edit video, do the background remover, and it's going to remove the background, which is excellent. And then now if I want, I can put a different background so we can do, oh, I don't know. You can do any kind of background. Let's do, um, robot do a robot background and, or maybe we'll do like a texture background for this, this one. And I don't want to do videos. Let's just do a graphic or maybe a photo. Yeah. I like this one. So we'll just choose this one, make this go big like this. And then we want to have it behind the guy. So we're going to do to the back and excellent. Now we have this situation and I'm actually going to bring him down just a little bit more. Perfect. Perfect. Now I can notice here that my video is 7.6 seconds long, but I definitely want it to be at least 15 to 16 seconds. That's because I have a lot of text that so I do need it. So I'm going to click, I'm going to just click on the guy and hit playback over here and then go over here. And let's see, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more. And then I see it's 10.2 seconds and maybe down one more to about 0.5. And that's going to be me, bring me to 15.3 seconds. All right. So he kind of looks a little strange going that slow. So that's okay though. Let's make it maybe 0.65 seconds. Let's see 0.65 seconds. Nope. Sorry. Hit playback again. Maybe we'll keep it at 0.75. Uh, I still don't think that's enough, but it's having a hard time. So let's just keep it at 0.5. It sounds like that's all we can do. All right, very good. Next, what we're going to do is bring in our, we're going to put the position of the text that we want. So I'm going to go to text right here and I'm going to add a heading. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in here um, sentence one. That's going to help me remember what to do. Now we're going to remember that sentence one was kind of long, right? So let's see, it's going to be a little bit longer. So we definitely need it to be smaller and we're going to test this out to see how it actually works out. All right. And then, um, what we're going to do is click on the right side of sentence one, I'm sorry, click here on sentence one and we want to do show timing. And if our video is 15, about 16 seconds, this should be about four seconds, but I'm actually going to make it maybe like 3.5, maybe three, because we want people to read it and move on quickly to get to the next point. Perfect. So we've adjusted the timing. Now what I'm going to do here is duplicate this. And now I'm going to put sentence two and I'm going to put it pretty much right there. And then I'm going to show the timing and move this over here. Oops. We're going to go to sentence two, show the timing. Oh, the timing's right there. Ah, sorry. Show timing. And we're going to put that at 3.5 or 3. Point, sorry, 3. Ah, there we go. 3. Perfect. Now we are going to do, now let's go ahead and bring this sentence two up here as well, real quick. Perfect. And then we're going to duplicate again and we are going to bring it down here so that I can read it. It's going to be sentence three. Good. And we're going to drag it right there and we're going to bring this over to here. And then we're going to come back here and hit duplicate one more time. And that's going to be sentence four. Drag it up there and on the timing, we want to show the timing of it, bring it over here. We can extend that to the very end. So now we can see if we go along, we have a video that goes sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, and then sentence four. Excellent. So that will be it. Now what we want to do is link our sentences to the video. So we're going to go to apps on the left hand side. We're going to go all the way down to where it says bulk create and we are going to upload a CSV. Go and find your CSV and hit select and you will see column one is right here. It says, and it's labeled by the column. So I labeled this column here, sentence one. And so right here it says sentence one. So now what I need to do is link this column 
to the specific uh, text graphic here. So I'm gonna go right along, along the timeline and click that. You can tell what I selected here because it says right here. So I'm gonna click check mark right there. So I'm gonna go over here and hit right click and it says right here, connect data. And what I wanna do is select sentence one, beautiful. Then I'm gonna drag this over here, right click right there. And if you can't get to it, you might have to move it, which is okay. You might have to move them around to figure out which one you're clicking on, because we can always move them back. So sentence two will be connect data to sentence two. Then we go to sentence three, and then sentence four. Perfect, now we can put them all in the same place again. Awesome. So now we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And what we can see here is it says apply the data, create pages based on the data you entered, select all, and we're going to now generate 11 pages. So when you open it, it might be a little bit messy, but now we can see it has now just created all of these videos with all of the data that we just created. So if we hit play, we can see what it's gonna look like. Just created 50 videos for my brand. Certainly here are the second sentences. Here are the third sentences. Here are the fourth sentences. Here are the fifth sentences. And what it's done now is create all these videos. So you can go ahead and hit play and see all the videos. And you can see the first one's playing. The best part, it wasn't even that hard. I've broken down the process and I'm excited to share with you. Find out how by visiting the link in the comments. Okay, perfect. And then the next video is gonna play. Can't believe I just made 50 high quality videos in less than 60 minutes. This has revolutionized the way I think about content creation. I was surprised how simple the whole process was. Check out my tutorial in the comments to see how I did. All right, so you get, you get the video. It created all of these different videos. Now, if I want to, I can go to each individual video and I can still edit each individual video. So if I actually wanna make each video a little bit different from the one before, I can do that. If I don't want to, I don't have to. All right, so I can do person thumbs up and I can go to video and I can see lots of people giving the thumbs up and I can do vertical and I can replace, I can replace it if I want to. So again, maybe in this one, maybe in this one, for example, the second, you can take him out of it, drop this guy in instead, and I edit video, remove the background. Okay, and so here he is, and we can see this is the person. So we can go ahead and use him, and it does the exact same thing. Now we're, we're playing along with it. Perfect, he's giving a thumbs up. Awesome, so I could go ahead and use these videos, but let's say you want to actually use a little more personal videos, all right? Like maybe not with this guy, but maybe with you. So you can actually go and record a video of yourself. And here's one exactly like me. This, so this is me, hello. So in case you didn't want to be in the video, that was uh, another example. But in case you're okay with being in the video, you can go ahead and record a video of yourself. And we can see all I did was put this video in here and I can go ahead and edit the video. And I'm gonna do a background remover. And voila, the background remover is done. So I can go ahead and put me in there and maybe I maybe I do want a different background. And this time we know too that I'm actually be pointing at sentence one and then sentence four, I point down in my video. So for example here, I'm actually gonna be pointing down right there. Let's keep going in the video to see what this looks like. And I do a thumbs up at the end. So it looks like the video repeats here. So we're actually gonna shorten this video. I think it was 11.2 seconds. I should have recorded a little bit longer, that's okay. 11.2 will do. But I'm just saying when I'm pointing around, you're gonna want the sentence, you're gonna want me to be pointing to, uh, around to the sentence, all right? So sentence one, it looks like I'm pointing there. And I might make that one left justified. So we'll see how that fits later. And then let's see, sentence one, sentence two, I'm pointing there. So go ahead and point over here. Sentence two, I'm be pointing a little bit more up. And then, Sentence three, I kind of do that thing. So sentence three can totally be right here as well. It's That's okay to have it there. I'm trying to grab it, there it is. Kind of move around maybe. And then sentence four, I definitely know that I pointed down here. So let's see the timing on these. Sentence four is the call to action and there's definitely a thumbs up there. So let's see, when do I start the thumbs up? That'll be sentence four starts right then. Sentence four definitely starts pretty early. Perfect, that's sentence four. We need to go to the timing on sentence three to fix that. And this should do it, I think. I just did a few edits, so let's see sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, 
and then sentence four. Perfect. And I need to probably edit sentence three just one more time to make sure the timing's right on that. Let's watch again just to see. Make sure I got it right. Sentence three, sentence four. That should be okay. Good. I think I'm pretty happy with this one. So let's see how, I think the background uh, I'm going to keep for now, but maybe actually I want a little bit more of a robot background or maybe even a futuristic background, something like that. Let's see, how about this one? No, I don't like the crystal ball one. Maybe we can try this one. All right, well, I just put that there, and I don't think it actually looks that good, so maybe we'll do something more like um, a city background, something like that. Actually, you know what I did? I just grabbed the original video. I'm not a big fan of the original background, but it is the background I did. It's my hotel room. I'm a flight attendant, so I'm just chilling in the hotel room. That's fine. We can just try that. So maybe your background is uh, going to work for you. You can always um, change the brightness of it if that makes it better for you, easier or harder to read. Then maybe we'll go from there. I think I actually kind of like this one. All right. So once it's done, once again, all we're going to go back to apps, go to the bulk creator and it should all be connected still. So I'm going to hit generate 11 pages and this first video um, was actually a little bit of a mistake. So I'm going to delete that one, but this one should work. And now we can do some editing. Again, we don't have to use this because we can see that the text here might be better if it was actually just a little bit skinnier and maybe more vertical for that one for sentence number one. And then we can see here the sentence number two definitely needs to come up just a little bit more. And then sentence two needs to end a little bit more sooner than sentence three. And then uh, the video position needs to be changed just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I think I can keep that because then it does a thumbs up and moves on. Perfect. So it's not that bad. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so again, you definitely get the point. I'm going to make those changes and then come right back here. Okay, so I had to mess around with it just a little bit more just to get the placement right and the timing right, but I did it. So now look, I now have all of these videos and they are ready. Now, the other thing I could do is I could probably add some audio if I wanted to and it wants to automatically sync. I can go ahead and try it, fine. So let's go ahead and play this and see what it sounds like. So it's just going ahead and make all these um, videos with this music. Again, you can you can change the music, you can keep the music uh, however you want to do it. You can obviously add multiple tracks if you only want this one for some of them. Maybe you want to just do like one or two and then choose a different audio track for a different uh, for the other videos. Again, maybe you go to upbeat. There was an India upbeat. Maybe you can do on the promenade, something like that. Let's hear what that sounds like. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of like it. So we'll go ahead and hit that pause button and just use that for the rest of those. Pretty neat. Okay, so once we're ready now, we're going to hit the share button and we're going to hit download. And it's important to connect to do um, MP4 video quality, select pages, but we want to download the pages as separate files. So we're going to hit download and then we'll actually save. This is going to download into a zip file into 10 different files, video files. Okay, so once it's been downloaded, now what we're going to do is we are done with Canva. So we can totally exit out of Canva. We still need ChatGPT and we are done with this particular spreadsheet. Excellent. So we now have the videos. We now need to schedule the videos. I use a tool called Metricool. Now you can go to bestautomationtools.com forward slash tools. Click here for Metricool. It is an affiliate link, so if you do sign up, I'm really grateful. But actually, the uh, the beginner account is a free account for life, so um, you can always sign up. If you don't have an account, I have an account, so I'm going to log in. And Metricool is going to allow us to bulk upload a ton of information to uh, schedule a lot of different posts all at once. So we're going to go to Best Automation Tools. And again, this is a new project. I just started getting this going. Now, truth be told, I don't have an Instagram account um, connected to here. If you're new to Metricool, it is a massive tool. You can connect several brands to this. I have uh, two of my brands connected to this. And what it does is you can actually connect all these social media accounts here on the left-hand side 
to a specific brand. And again, one account, you can have many different brands, which is really cool. But you can do a um, ton of analytics, tracking, and one of my favorite features is the planning feature and the bulk uploader. So I'm gonna show you the bulk uploader and what we're gonna do with it. So what you wanna do is log into Metricool, connect your brand, hit the planning feature button, and we're going to hit import CSV. And we're gonna download the template right here, and that's gonna download a CSV template right here. And now you're gonna go back to your Google Drive and you're going to bring the CSV into your drive. And then once it's here, you're going to go on the three dots and you wanna open this with a Google Sheet. And what we have here opening now is going to be a spreadsheet that we can bulk upload multiple social media posts in here and actually format them and everything the way we exactly want them, uh, including the text that we want, the date we want it to be posted, the time we want it to be posted at, and where we want it to be posted. And it's amazing. You can actually upload, you upload YouTube videos as well as YouTube shorts, Instagram photos, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, TikToks, all sorts of stuff all at the same time. And we can do this for as many as we want. And what we're gonna do is fill this out the way we want it. And then we're gonna upload it here and it's gonna pre-populate our calendar. It's going to be amazing. So we have 10 videos. And again, because I don't have the Instagram um, account set up, I'm not gonna show you the Instagram. But what I wanna do is actually upload a whole bunch of data for a YouTube shorts. And we have 10 videos, so we're gonna make 10 posts. And how we're gonna do that is, we see row number two here is all of the presets to teach us how to do it. So I'm not gonna delete that quite yet. I will eventually. So we're gonna need some text for the first video and we're gonna have 10 videos in total. So I'm gonna add eight rows. And then what we're going to do is we need to choose a time that this is gonna post. Now, this format has to be exactly as it is to fit Metricool. So the date is 2023. And the first day I want this to actually post is going to be um, 6-15. And actually it has to be, if I'm not mistaken, it has to be 06 to match the month. That's going to be June 15th. And you notice the time is very specific. It's going to be 1400 hours. That's 2 p.m. Uh, 30, 00. So it's including not just the minute, but the second. So on 615, I'm going to want this to be posted at 07 uh, 32 and 00 seconds. We're gonna want to put false because now the question is, do you want it to be published in your calendar as a draft? It's like, no, we want it to actually publish. So when we upload it, we want the draft to be false. All right, and then Facebook. Do we want this to be posted to Facebook? No, we want this to be um, not posted on Facebook for now. And then Twitter, nope, we don't. We want it to be false, LinkedIn, false. And you only have to fill this out once. Google, my business, no. Instagram, false. Pinterest, false. TikTok, false. But YouTube, true. I'm posting this as a YouTube short, so we're gonna put it true. And then we're not going to put in there the video, the pictures, no pictures for now. And then the document title, so we don't need that. So we can leave that empty. Shortener, we don't, we can put false. Pinterest, we're just not gonna put anything here. So Pinterest board, no, no, no. But when it gets to YouTube video, you can expand this and see what it says. So the YouTube video title for our first video, we can go back to chat GPT and we can say for the 10 videos, excuse me, excuse me, I sneezed. For the 10 videos, please write 10 titles for the YouTube shorts. The titles should be less than 100 characters, should be less than 100 characters, characters, but more than 90. One or two words in each title should be capitalized completely. Sorry, not capitalized, should be all in uppercase. They should be a bit sensational. Please list them without numbers, one sentence per line, but please don't leave a, a space or a line break, just list 
them. So let's give that a go and let's see what ChatGPT does. So they st it still put a space in between each one. So that's okay. That's not the end of the world. So what we're going to do is go ahead and copy those. Before I do that, I'm just going to ask one more time just for the ease of to see if it's simple. Can you list them again without the large space in between each line? Let's see if it knows what I'm talking about. Yes, perfect. So this is what I want. And now we're going to grab these and hit copy and we're going to go back to our spreadsheet and we are going to hit paste special values only and there you go and just like before we're going to do text wrapping so that it doesn't go over too much perfect in this column it says it wants to know what kind of youtube video it's going to be it's going to be a short and then we have to fill out all the youtube video information since we're posting youtube so we're going to put this on public and again I, let's make sure i do this properly we're going to do short all in caps because that's the way it is in this column it says youtube video for kids false over here it says youtube video category i recommend if you're doing anything in this space to do entertainment because entertainment videos get pushed by the algorithm a lot because people like entertainment videos. If you wanna list tags, you can. So of course we're gonna do best automation tools. We're gonna to do robots, make money online, work from home, make money from home, how to make shorts. Metricool is definitely one. Canva is something we used, CapCut, and we can leave it for that for now. We just gotta separate them all by commas. Perfect, and I think that might be it in terms of YouTube, but there is one more. There's this wonderful option right here. It says first comment text. So you can actually go ahead and fill in if you wanna create the very first comment you can do that. And so because my video, if you remember, said check out the link in the comments, what we're going to do is learn how here, and I'm going to put a link that I want them to go to. So we're going to have bestautomationtools.com. And in fact, for this one, I'm going to create a new funnel. For this one, it's going to be bestautomationtools.com forward slash slash shorts. And I will make a funnel specifically to that website that if they click on it, then they will get access. So we can do some text wrapping. Perfect. Now what we want to do is grab all of this from here to here and fill it all in from here to here all the way to the bottom. Perfect. And then we want to do the same thing on this side with all of this information, not the time and the date, by the way, but just this stuff here. Drag that all the way to the bottom. Now, in regards to the times and the dates, uh, we're just going to make a pattern. So 615, 223, so I'm going to do 23-06-16. Perfect. And if I grab these two and scroll all the way down, it should continue the pattern just in a, all the way down. And then this we can kind of make up. So we can do maybe we want it a little bit different time every day. So I'm going to do 13, 21. 21 something like that and then at this time we will do 19 well i like doing something around uh, 1700 1734 00 perfect and so we can just grab this and it will repeat the pattern all the way down awesome so now the only thing we have to do now we have all these settings done which is great oh forgot this one too we need to bring that down because we don't want the shortener in there perfect so now what we wanted to do we actually need to put the text for the post this would be the description this one might take just a little bit longer so I'm gonna go back to chat GPT and have chat GPT do this entire thing for us so we can say can you please write a video description or title number one the description should be in from the first person explaining the process. Please make sure each paragraph is no more than two sentences. Make the description at least 3,000 characters, but no more than 3,500 characters. Be straightforward, no jargon, less hype than the title. Perfect. So we will just see what it does with that. Oops, I forgot one thing. Forgot one thing. Please make sure to add the call to action, which is to check out bestautomationtools.com forward slash shorts and make sure it is at least in the second paragraph. The call to action line should only be one line 
and not two sentences. Okay, so let's try it again. Let's see what it does. That's because we want a clip click clickable link right in the beginning of the description. So here it goes, creating 50 high quality videos in less than an hour might sound like unattainable goal. That's precisely what I've managed to accomplish recently. And there it is. Now it's just gonna go ahead and run with this. Perfect, so now it's done. Now what I want to do is go ahead and grab all of this, hit copy, come on over to my spreadsheet. And in this box, I'm gonna hit right, paste special, and we're gonna put values Oops, not values only, sorry. We're gonna hit this box and actually you have to hit in within this box right here and hit paste. And here it all is, it's beautiful. And hit enter. And there it is, it's all done. Now, we're gonna do the same thing and fill out this entire column with, we're gonna go back and forth to ChatGPT and all I have to do is say, that was great, let's do number two. And it will continue on and make another one for you. Now, as it does this, I am going to save some time and I'm gonna come back when I'm all done doing this. All right, so finally, one of the things we, one of the last things we need to do here is this date. So when we upload into Metricool, we need to make sure that this is in the absolute correct format. You notice some of these have a 06 for June and some of these have just a six. It's gonna be important that they all remain the same. So one of the best things we can do is actually, and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna hit format here at the top and hit number. And then we're just gonna do plain text, okay? So just do plain text. And then we just wanna go in each one of these and just make sure that there's a zero behind the month if, you, if the month you're currently in has a zero there. If it doesn't, if it's like 11 or something, you shouldn't have to do this but you just wanna make sure that the date format is always gonna be the same. So it's a little bit tedious, but um, if it does it incorrectly, it's gonna schedule all the videos for today, whatever day you're currently on, and we don't want that to happen. So we just need to make sure that all of them are in 06, so 06, 06, 06, and it looks like we are all set there. Oops. So we're gonna do, now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna hit share. Sorry, we're gonna hit download to CSV gonna download our CSV right here. Now we're gonna head on over to Metricool. And we can see here, when you open Metricool, you're gonna do, again, you're gonna go planning, and we're gonna go to import expert CSV, and we're gonna hit import CSV, and click in the CSV file, and go ahead and select our CSV file that we just downloaded. Now, once we're here, we wanna make sure that the date and the time format are exactly the way we did it. So. For the way I did it, it was with dashes, and we, I did the year, then the month with two numbers, and then dash the day, so we're gonna click that one, and the time format is as I've created it. You're still gonna probably have a warning here because we didn't put videos in there, so there's no video file, and so it's gonna say there's a warning that it's not done correctly. Once that's it, we'll go ahead and hit import 10 posts, and it sees it's go ahead and importing the 10, and it says import finish, we're gonna hit accept. And if we go down, we should start seeing right here, you'll see on the calendar, sorry, see on the calendar, Thursday 6.15, Friday at 6.16, right here, here is the draft. Saturday, right here, here is the draft. And if we go forward, all of these are now posted at the times where you wanted. If I want, I can pick it up and move it. I can change the times, it's pretty simple to do. So what we now, all the final thing we need to do is go to the very first one, and we're gonna have to add the video, one of the first videos that we made, and we're gonna attach it to this post. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go down here to this video, click this, and I'm gonna hit add video. Now, you may not see your videos here, you may have to go find them and unzip them first in a separate file, and then they will show up here. That's what happened to me, I had to unzip them. All right, so here are the 10 videos that I created earlier. And now I'm just gonna hit select number one and look at that, it's gonna upload. So let's put it all together. This is a short, the video is uploading right here. Okay, and then this is the des description. According to our spreadsheet, if we go down, we can hit see all the YouTube presets. It has a title, it's not for children, it's gonna be public, it's in the entertainment category. Here are all of our tags. And we are pretty much ready to go. So what we're gonna wanna do finally is we are gonna wanna turn off the global preset to draft. And we are going to hit 
save. And this is now going to be published on June 15th at 7.32 a.m. on the channel. So it's ready, perfect. So let's go to Friday and do the same thing. I'm gonna go to Friday, we're gonna choose a video, and this should open right up to where I left off. And we just hit number two, and that will upload. We turn off the draft and hit save. Perfect, and then let's go to number three. And this time I'm actually gonna play the video for you so you can see you can test it out in Metricool. Metricool also has an app, so once these are all loaded, if I wanna change the time I publish them, I can do that, they're all gonna be loaded up in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here so you can see, perfect. So it's so nice, I'm hit save. And basically I'm gonna do this process on repeat with all 10 of the videos. So I will do that at another time. And I'm gonna schedule this one a little bit later so I have some time to work on it uh, this evening and tomorrow morning. Particularly put up that funnel because once people click on the link, I need them to go somewhere and um, I don't have that built quite yet. So I'll have to do that. So you get the point. It's super fast. So if you spent an hour or two on this a day for a week, you would have a ton of video content running traffic to your funnels, posting on your social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube shorts, whatever platforms you're marketing on. So there's that. Okay, I promised that I want to show you two more pieces of software that we're gonna help you big time. The first one is called ReCut. ReCut is a fantastic program and I encourage you just click the link below or go to bestautomationtools.com forward slash ReCut and a link will take you there. Again, affiliate link. So uh, please, if you do end up checking it out, please go there with my link. You get five free videos to experiment with this service, so definitely use the free trial before you have to sign up and use it. How it works is this. Uh, you open up ReCut. It's super simple. All it does is cut out silences from your video automatically. So you can go ahead and choose a video, and let's go to all my videos, and I can find a video that's kind of on the longer side, like this one. Gonna hit open. And this one is probably a bad example. All right, I've loaded a new video as a good example. And you can see here, the video is gonna load at the bottom. All the red you see is silence. So it's a videos like this that I'm actually um, talking to you in. A lot of times I pause in between sentences in real life to really carefully think about what I'm gonna say in the next sentence. So instead of manually going in and editing out a video um, and taking out all the silence by myself, I just use this program. And you can see here, all the red down here is gonna be the silence and all the blue is where I'm actually speaking. So once you've loaded your video in here, uh, this will actually just go ahead and start playing and it will reduce the video. And I'm not gonna go ahead and do this now for you because I think you understand the purpose of it. And you can change the settings over here on the right hand side about what is constituted as silence, how much space do you wanna leave in the silence? Do you wanna be a you know pretty constant talking or just give like an extra 0.2, you know, 0.12 seconds in between sentences? Whatever you want, you can make those changes here. And once you're done, all you have to do is hit this export button and hit export and it'll pump out a new video. So again, you can see right here, the video, original video is 34 minutes, but without silences, it's 1919. So that basically took out a ton of the video with unnecessary silence. Again, if you wanna give this a shot, you can actually do this for free with five videos. Highly recommend it, it will save you a ton of time. Go to bestautomationtools.com forward slash recut to check it out. Just two more programs I wanna show you. The first one is an app you can download. I don't know if you can download it on the Android, but certainly can on the iPhone. And this is a fantastic app. Um, you can basically upload a video in here that's maybe a couple minutes long, and you will um, it will create automatic captions for your video. And the captions are really cool, but what's really cool about it in particular is once you created the captions, it will actually create a transcript of your video, and then you can actually copy that transcript and put it in chat GPT. For example, let's say you make one video and you really like the transcript, but you wanna make 20 more videos with a similar script, um, but just a little bit different words every time. You can grab the transcript out of this video uh, from this app and post it into chat, chat GPT and ask it to print out you know, 20 more scripts, which are kind of like it. 
Captions are really good to have on a video in which you're talking, especially a short. It increases uh, the amount of time that somebody will spend in your video. So very, very helpful. You, If you cruise around some of my channels, you will see that I definitely use captions in a lot of my videos. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And it's because it increases viewership. And I use this app for a lot of them called Captions for your iPhone. Again, I think it's like 20 bucks or something. I can't remember what it is, but it is a paid service, but it's not that much. It's definitely worth the investment. And lastly, I want to show you all one more program. It's called CapCut here. I'm not going to open it because it actually interferes with my OBS studio, but CapCut is a free video editing software for your desktop as well as for Mac and for your cellular device. It has versions for all of them. It's free. It will do everything else that some of these other programs won't do. And I often use CapCut. It also, CapCut will also do automatic captions as well. If you're concerned about showing up on camera, it will beautify your face if you want to use it for that. Or if you have multi multiple video shots and you want to overlap, etc. CapCut is definitely a very good friend. And I did say lastly, but let me say last. One more thing, OBS Studio is a free program in which you can record your screen just like I'm doing now. So in case you have a course or you want to show people what you are doing, then you can definitely download the OBS Studio. Totally free. You can actually stream live to YouTube and Facebook as well using OBS Studio. It's an amazing program. A little bit of a learning curve, but nothing that you can't just look up on YouTube and check out for yourself. Okay, well, I hope that was really helpful for you. If you need any help with anything, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Organic strategies really are great if you do it well. The keys are you want to make video content. You may want to make a lot of it. Make sure you're using good content in the written text because the algorithms of Instagram and YouTube are reading all those descriptions to try to get a better understanding about what your video is about and who they should show it to. And lastly, we always want to have a single, just one, clear call to action. And we want to make it somewhere easy and direct people to the call of action. So in the case of mine, I wanted people to go to bestautomationtools.com forward slash shorts. That was clear in the video that I made as well as I said, it's going to be a link in the comments. So I made a link in the comments and they also put it in the description near the top at an easy place for people to access it. All right, take all this information. If you need to watch the video again, that's okay. Just go back, watch it again. Keep watching it until the ideas kind of start sinking in and you understand what this can do for you and for your business and growing your audience, which is the ultimate goal here to grow your audience. See you in the next video.